Okay, with the latest version of Layers, you can now drag and drop your own one-shot samples into the Layers plugin. You can do this on any of the three layers, and in order to do it, it's fairly simple and straightforward. All you have to do is click this Import button on top of the layer. This is going to open up the Import Sample window. Here, we can either right-click on this window, which is going to open up a Finder window where we can search for our sample and select it through there, or we can simply drag and drop our sample onto this window. Once the sample is inside, we can set the root key of our sample, and this one has a root key of C4. So I'm just going to scroll down, look for C4, set the root key. Next, what I can do is instead of this sample fading out, and playing as a sustained sample, I can loop the playback so it plays consistently. I'm going to click the loop button and this is going to automatically loop the playback. And then I can click edit loop. And this is where I can edit exactly which region I want to loop on the playback. So right there, I just selected a random area to loop, and you can see that it's kind of a sharp cut every time it's looping. So I can use this X fade knob here. I can drag it up. What this is going to do, it's just going to fade in the input and the output of the loop so it, it comes out a little bit more smooth. Now, once I have my sample in here, I have the loop set and I have everything's ready to go. I can go ahead and I can just save this as my own preset. And now anytime I come back to this, this preset, the sample that I dragged in is going to automatically load as long as I keep the sample I dragged in in the same location. So if you end up deleting the sample that you brought in or you move it to a different location, the plugin may not find it and it may not load properly into the preset. So just make sure that whatever samples you are dragging into the plugin, you are keeping it in a location where you're not going to accidentally delete that or move the, move the sample around. So that's how you import samples into layers. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. I hope that you enjoy this new feature and I'll see you in the next video.